even ultralight hikers like a bit of comfort and the go-to chair has always been the Helinox Chair Zero. Weighing in at only 510 grams and a cost of around 135 pounds, it's been the mainstay of the backpacking community for many years. The downsides, however, are that it isn't the easiest to get in and out of, and it's not the most comfortable due to its low back. However, it certainly beats sitting on a rock or the cold, wet ground. Helen Knox's other option, if you want more comfort, is the Chair Zero High Back. And this comes in at 690 grams, and a cost of around 160 pounds. However, if you are an ultralight camper, then there's a good chance that you either use a trekking pole tent or simply use trekking poles for those longer hikes. So what if you can make use of those poles to get you even more comfy after a long hike? Well, there is another option for ultralight hikers who want a bit more comfort than a Helinox Chair Zero. So this is the Get Out Gear Trek Chair. And although it's slightly heavier than the smaller Helinox Chair Zero at 635 grams, it's much more comfortable. It's also easier to get in and out of, and it has a high back that is adjustable to suit a more lounging or upright style. It utilizes your trekking poles as the rear uprights, so saving a little bit of weight over the Helinox Zero high back, but also saving around £60 in cost. That is assuming that you already have your own trekking poles. In comparison to the Helinox high back for comfort, the trek chair is 12cm taller for better head support. It's 4cm wider and 12cm deeper for more comfort and lower body support. Now Get Out Gear did send me this as a package to review and they include their own carbon fibre cork handle trekking poles that, although not the lightest on the market, they are made 50% thicker than other carbon poles for extra strength and the quality is superb. Now I know what you're going to say, how am I going to put up my trekking pole tent when my trekking poles are in my chair? Well there's a lot of people out there who've got single pole trekking pole tents. Um, a bit like my Lanshan, it's very, very popular, and a lot of people will also use a single carbon fibre pole, which I do with my Lanshan, I don't use a trekking pole for it. So you don't necessarily always need it, or you can simply set your tent up as normal, inside and out, and then just take the poles out, drop the tent down on top of your sleeping gear, and use it in the chair outside. Now let's face it, we don't sit outside on chairs when there's gale force winds and lashing down with rain. It's only in nice weather that we're gonna be sitting outside using a chair. So in that sort of weather, it's very easy to just drop your tent on top of all your sleeping gear and just let it lay there. If there's a slight breeze, you could just chuck your bag on the back of it just to hold it down a little bit more. Then when you're ready to go to bed, you're probably gonna pack the chair up anyway and take it all apart to put it inside because you don't leave it outside and it's too big to put in a vestibule generally. So you take the trekking poles out, stick them back in the tent, away you go. Now I'm gonna say at this point, I'm gonna be doing a future video showing various different types of chairs that you can get on the market uh, for wild camping and backpacking and hiking. So they are starting from just 145 grams. And this is for a chair not a sit map. So if that's of interest to you and you're not a subscriber, then take the time now to just hit the subscribe button and don't forget to tickle that little bell so you get any notifications of when that video comes up. Setting up the chair is easier than other chairs of this type as you don't have to stretch the fabric over the poles. Once these base poles are connected, then you simply insert the trekking pole handles grip facing out for more comfort so it's not digging into your back into the top of the chair. Next, you insert the trekking pole tips into the rear hub, and you have to make sure they are fully seated past the thread of the actual trekking pole tip, and then attach the front to the seat stays. Because the adjustable poles, they go on really easy without any stretching or real tension needed. Then you extend the poles to the desired height, lower for a more relaxed mode, and higher for sitting more upright and cooking, for example. You may need to play with this setting to get the right setup for you, but it is so simple and takes no time. Once that's done, you have an extremely sturdy, very comfortable lounger chair for camping that weighs less than the equivalent Helinox, costs less and takes up less pack space too. So if you fancy something a little bit different, extremely lightweight and very, very comfortable, then check out the Get Out Gear Trek chair. I'll put a link in the description below. It's an American company. Um, it's not an affiliate link, I don't get paid for it, I'm simply looking at their chair and reviewing it and I will be using it going forwards. They do post to the UK, so if you are UK based you can buy it. It's more well known out in the States than it is over here though, so I thought I'd make a video to show you guys what else is out there as an option to a Helinox chair. As always, thanks for watching the video. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and I will see you all on the next one.